Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In the last video, I have shown you how you can use the QTimer class in Qt. Now in this video, I am going to show you how we can uh, use this QTimer class to create a digital clock in Qt. So let's get started. I am going to uh, you know use the last example which I have uh, shown you in the last video which was QTimer. And in that example, what I have done is I have created this sample project, and in here I have first of all included this uh, Q timer class, and then I have created an object of Q timer, which is uh, this one, and I have created a public slot function, which was my function, like this. Okay. So if you don't know this code, uh, just uh, watch the last video and I'm going to continue this uh, code in this video. So, okay, so I'm going to go to my main window.cpp file and this was the code I have written in the last video, right? And this was the function and in this function I was just printing this string called QUPDATE, right? So instead of uh, printing uh, this QUPDATE, to uh, display some time, we can use a class called QDateTime. So you can just include this class which is called uh, QDateTime. Okay, so this is the class we want to use. And now uh, we can use this QTime here. So just write QTime like this and then we can just say this is our time and this q time can return a current time so you can just write a static uh, uh, you can just call a static function using q time which is current time okay and this will give you the current time right and then first of all let's uh, uh, add a label here so you can just go to main window.ui file here and in here we are going to include a label so just search for a label which is this one and you can make it a little bit bigger and uh, you can even change the font size of uh, these fonts because it will be a digital clock so let's make it uh, bold and let's make a little bit bigger 36 okay something like this right and I'm going to just uh, expand this and I will just provide some layout here so I'm going to just provide a horizontal layout to it and I will just delete this text from here so that we can print our text okay now this label I will just name this label as label for example date time so just write date time Okay, so we know that this is the label name. Now I'm going to go to my main window.cpp file, and in this function, first of all, uh, I will just uh, convert this current time into a string. So just define q string variable, and then you can just say time text. Okay, so just write time text, and then we can convert our time. To a string by just calling a to string function on it okay and we can even format our uh, time and date uh, using uh, some uh, you know keys so for example if you write h h here it will uh, display uh, hours in uh, two digits and then I'm going to provide a space and then semicolon and then if you provide two m's it will uh, print minutes in uh, two digits right and then a space and then colon and then for example i want to print seconds so i will just write ss okay so something like this and this will give the uh, string output and then we can uh, set this uh, string to our uh, label so just call a label date time and then we can just uh, set this text so just write set text and then just pass this uh, time text here okay so uh, and here we want to update our uh, time 
every one second right so just uh, write time start and as an argument of start function you just need to give uh, one second which is 100 milliseconds here right if you have followed the last video you know uh, how it works right so let's uh, compile our code and let's run it and let's see if it works or not so you can see our time is working so right now it's uh, 10 o'clock or 22 uh, in the night and then 52 minutes and you can see the seconds are also updating here right now if you want to uh, make it a little bit more fancy what we can do here is uh, we can uh, for example we can give a if condition here and then we can just call this time object and uh, we can just say time dot second so it will give the second value to us and then we will provide a modulus of two so we will see uh, if it's a modulus of two or not and then we will equate it to zero so we are just taking the modulus and if uh, the second is even we want to for example uh, disappear these colons in between and if uh, this uh, is a uh, odd number we want to show them for example something like this right so you can just take this uh, text which is a string right so it has some index so the index start from 0 so 0 1 2 3 right so the colon index of colon is 3 here so you can just write 3 and then you can just set a text here so for example I want to just set a blank text text instead of this colon right and same we will do for the next colon so this was 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so the index of second colon is 8 and we will do the same for the second uh, colon here right and then let's uh, run our code and let's see what happens so now our uh, app is running and you can see these colons are disappearing every second and uh, showing ev every alternate second you can say right so it's more like a digital clock right now if you want uh, to show instead of colon uh, something like this you can also do this right so it depends upon you what uh, type of time you want to show here so something like this or uh, you can format it something like this also and it will be the same time will be same but it will just add this uh, forward slash here okay so in this way you can create a digital clock using q time class and q date time class i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now